We identified five new genes historically thought to be only involved in, in hematopoietic malignancies that were clearly highly mutated and were contributing to the onset or drivers of the disease. So this was an important finding uh, along the lines of what we typically refer to as significantly mutated genes to define that really the significantly mutated genes are genes that by a variety of mathematical tests are more commonly mutated than would be expected on average. In addition to just identifying genes using statistical approaches, we also wanted to really begin to combine the genes that were mutated with other signals from the genome to, again, approach this prediction about aromatase inhibitor response or resistance. In this context, we identified that patients with TP53 mutation, high proliferation by Key67, and luminal B-type tumors were the least likely patients to respond to aromatase inhibitors. By comparison, a new gene that was also identified in our study, MAP3K1, is commonly mutated in patients with luminal A-type tumors and a lower Key67 proliferation index, and these were the patients that most commonly responded to the aromatase inhibitor therapy. So what we have in essence from this study is the very beginning of a genomic signature that's combined with conventional pathology marks such as Key67. RNA subtyping to identify the specific intrinsic subtype for the breast tumor and other markers that will begin to identify those patients in advance of being assigned to aromatase inhibitor therapy, whether they're likely to respond.